I will show you how to make a simple but very powerful 3G and 4G gun. This gun works even in extreme conditions, so you will have a stable and fast internet. I will also reveal some techniques of getting a good signal. I'm going to assemble this one almost in the same way as the Wi-Fi gun in its previous video, but this time the size of the circuits are for 3G and 4G, and there are some improvements. To do this I need some thread studs, nuts, and some appropriate metal. I use the copper foil because I can cut it with scissors. 3G and 4G are of different frequency ranges. Respectively, the size of the circles will be different. Accordingly to the blueprint, I draw 6 circles on the foil. First I drill, then I cut. It will make it easier. I'm cutting the circles as accurately as I can. Then I need to mark the places on the second disc for the cable. And the cable will be soldered there. According to the scheme I have chosen, the holes will be 2mm from the disc edges. Unlike the Wi-Fi gun, the internet gun needs two cables. We can use one, but two cables will boost the speed twice and make the connection more stable. Holes for the second wire must be perpendicular. 19 degrees angle. And the same distance from the edges. Using the second disc, I can mark the places to drill in the first one for the cable. I'm removing the extra part from the TV cable. Then I just put it in the hole of the first disc. It's tight, but this is for good. I'm going to clench it from the back side to make it perfect. Now comes the most exciting. I take the discs and screwing them on the thread stud. Mind to tighten the nuts nicely to make the construction stronger. The distance between the discs must be just like in the blueprint. The distance between the first and second discs are 10 mm, second and third 9 mm, and it's 33 mm between all the rest. And right now you can see the disc size. The biggest one is 100 mm from edge to edge, the second is 74 mm, the third is 54 mm, then 39, 39 and 39. Why all this size is so important, you can say? The thing is that all these discs correspond to certain frequencies, which they catch, and then the waves are reflected in the other discs, and the waves make some resonance. The waves make resonance facing the first disc, then they are reflected in the others, including the biggest one. And eventually this bigger one makes the signal more useful when it gets to the second disc. And I remind you again that the wire is connected to the second disc. Now I need to put the wire in the holes of the second disc. I'm screwing them nicely, then I solder them. I use a satellite TV wire, cause there is no need to pay for anything more expensive because it won't make any difference. Wow, look at this! It's so cool! Looks like a real blaster! I need to solder the wire around very carefully. This will remove the extra tin. I can't clench it or do anything else, otherwise the signal is lost. Alright then, now we can test it. Let's see what we've got. We don't have 3G coverage in our town, so I will try to catch some internet from the neighbor town. And it's more than 10 kilometers. I'm going to use the Huawei modem 3372 with an open provider settings. Let's see how it's going to make it without the 3G gun. We can see that the modem has got the connection, but it's 2G. I'm going to change the internet settings. When I set the manual search, we can see all available connections in the area. So now you can see that my modem can't catch any 3G signal in my house. I've tried to use some extension wire, and even when I got the router out of my house, I didn't find any connection. The smartphone finds only second generation signal here. Now comes the most exciting part. I'm attaching the 3G gun. I'm attaching the modem through the pigtail on the other end of the wire. So what's going on, the modem has just loaded, and after a few seconds, it has found the 3G signal already. It is of MTS provider. This you can see right there yourself. The most amazing is that the antenna is here near the modem. We haven't set it on the roof yet. I didn't think it would work so nicely just when we turn it on. It has caught the 3G indoors, amazing. What will it get if we point it out of the window? Let's check it out. It's 89. It was 97. Try to measure the connection speed. We can see it's going at once. Oh wow! Film it, film it! It's 9, 10. Wow! Can you believe it? 12! 
Here is the antenna, here is the modem, see? Move the wire a little for them to see it. As you can see, 12, 12 megabytes, and it isn't the Wi-Fi. That's the third generation internet. Let's check out on YouTube. The highest quality. To make sure it isn't speed test cheating. The video doesn't slow down, and it's the maximum quality. This is an awesome result, if we can see the distance, it is really big. It is more than 10 kilometers to the station from here, and it isn't even in our town, it is in a nearby town. I draw the 3G gun in the room, and the speed slows down drastically. The YouTube can't play the video on the maximum quality. I set the SIM card back in the smartphone, just to make sure via the app, where exactly is located the base station. We were getting the signal just yet. We need to check out the second SIM card. The UMTS SIM is a 3G one, and it has got a very slow signal from here. And what do we see? The location is Lugansk Oblast, Ukraine. And then I check out all the base stations of all operators on the map. And the blue one is the station I'm getting the 3G signal right now. And now I know the direction I need to point the 3G gun at. I'm spinning the stick with the gun slowly and looking at the signal strength to find the right direction. The signal level is minus 87 decibel, minus 92, and now 89, and now minus 87, 96, 98. So to sum up, the signal depends on the direction really. So I need to point my antenna directly at the station like a rifle. It's minus 84 decibel, that's a record for now. I turn on the speed test, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 megabytes, 17 megabytes, this is a nice result for a distant 3G catching. The internet we get from this modem can be used in multiple devices, I can just share it through a Wi-Fi. You need to buy any router, all you need is a USB port. I set there the modem and thus the signal the modem gets can be delivered through the Wi-Fi. It can be even simpler. You can buy the modem with the Wi-Fi module. If you don't have a port, use the capacitive coupling method to attach a 3G gun. I'm making a special ending for the wire, then wrapping it with a scotch tape, and then I wind on another wire, above at the angle of 19 degrees to the first one. We don't need them working in the same planes. So, through the capacitive coupling method we transfer the signal from the wire and it reaches the inner antenna of the modem. Using the same method I can attach a 3G gun to the smartphone. I set in these two twirls. One is horizontal, the other is vertical. The capacitive coupling is productive if the antenna is on the roof, or at least is outside. While the 3G gun is indoors, there is no connection. Let's try to get it out of the window. As you can hear, there is a connection, because I'm getting some messages right now. Though the connection is bad. The speed test shows that the connection is weak. But we've got the signal at least. It is that simple to attach any smartphone to the 3G gun. The next day we'd been out of the town, where we were checking the power of the 3G gun. In really extreme conditions. I've come to my dacha in winter for 3G gun tests. Didn't expect it to be so snowy, but I'll do anything for you, my viewers. To be honest, I'm not sure whether my antenna is going to work indoors. I turn it on and we have to hang out for a while. It did find a signal, but then it disappeared instantly. Let's just take the gun outside, because the waves are behind the bar, so to say. Hang on a little, the modem is doing his thing, there is 30, there is 93 decibel signal, and we know it's a good quality signal already. Okay, it must be higher anyway. An antenna must be on the roof, you know? It got stuck. We will tune it if something. The maximum signal power is there. How many decibel, I wonder? 70! Wow! The connection here is better than my house. The speed test page appears instantly. We can see the server right here. Aha, here it goes. It's 20! This is crazy! It's 22! This is a record! I have never seen in my life 3G working faster than this! The upload rate is around 3. This is really big for 3G. I am eager to find out what kind of internet connection it can catch from there. Maybe we can find something else. I go to the settings, pick the menu, search, save. 
Agree. And now we are waiting till the program shows us all possible connections the 3G gun reaches from here. Wow! There is even a Russian 3G megaphone. It's pretty long from here. For purity of the experiment, I'm going to catch some super distant Russian 3G signal using a Russian SIM card beline. Let's check it out. It took a second for loading. I actually can't believe it works. The Russian 3G works with the maximum signal rate. Let's check out how many decibels are there. Minus 79. It can't be true. This is a crazy signal here. The signal comes from Rostov on Don. The speed isn't so impressive though. It's 0.4 megabytes. But this can be a matter of weather. Cause there are the flurries and snowing hard. And I mentioned before that all the networks are slowed down hard by now. Let's see, where is this Russian base station? Rostov Oblast, Lunacharskova 16. And let's see where it is on the map. Here we are right now. The base station working currently marked yellow. Let's measure the distance. It is 34 kilometers! Some people said the maximum is 12 kilometers. Ha! <laughs> it means the blaster makes wonders! As a bonus, there are some techniques that will make sure you get a nice signal. Firstly, you have to find out what the frequency of your provider. Go to the network settings and try to find the network. Indoors, outside, on the roof. If you can't find your network, get to some higher place nearby in the 5 km range. We've got one already. Then we should assemble the antenna properly and carefully. It's usually 2100 MHz for 3G, 2600 for 4G internet. It depends on what signals you have in your area. But sometimes you can find some strange frequencies. And it's important to pick the right scheme. I dial a secret combination and get to a secret engineer menu. We need to pay attention to these lines. It shows you the frequency your provider uses in this area. There is 2100, it's the most common for 3G type. But you may simply find not a common one. It may be 1800 MHz for example. Some rural providers use 850 MHz signal. It is also used in intertelecom. There is no sense to hang your antenna too high. This will increase the noise and the cable loses. So I don't recommend you to use the cable longer than 12 meters. And the optimal height for an antenna is just above the roof in the right direction. To reach the maximum speed, you have to try different places for your antenna. Try different edges of your rooftop, etc. To find out where is your basic station, I recommend you the Net Monitor app. It will help you to find it out. They may be numerous. If this antenna doesn't work for some reason, send us some photos on the VK. And we'll try to help you. Look in the description. Here is an automate Wi Fi GAN scheme. And for a new 5 GHz Wi Fi 2. See the previous video to find out how much the Wi Fi GAN can boost your internet.